Uh huh. Ale, how are you, Ale? Hi, Ale. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you, sir? Oh, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh my God! Look at Janet's yeah. a, a picture. Every time. She yeah, changed she changed. <laughs> What a beautiful eyes! <laughs> Goodness! <laughs> you look like a hot taxi mama there. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hi! Uh, my, I think Janet and, and Alejandro, they're wearing almost exactly the same t-shirt cover, right? Almost the same. I'm not saying it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, you see, we're wearing white, uh, white blouse. Remember, yeah. guys, that for girls, we call blouse. How did and, you know, teach Yeah, and for uh, guys, T-shirt, okay? No teacher, I'm a teacher. T-shirt, okay? Don't get confused, please. Okay. <laughs> right. Hey, don't eat your finger, Mr. Rafael. <laughs> Just to say you. Hey, guys, how are you? How's your day going so far? Hi, good evening. Good evening, sir. How's your day going so far? Is it good? Yeah, it was good. Oh, that's nice. I love to hear that. Hey, what about your health? I feel better. Um, okay. just, yeah, uh, yesterday, um, I don't get in the classes because I have like surprise from my son and my wife. Ah. They take me out to dinner because it was my birthday. They took you out. Yeah, they took me out. Okay. Okay, I understand Congratulations. that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was my birthday. Can you say how old? Wow. No, I'm just kidding. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. 65. No. No, I don't, I don't believe you. It's a secret. I knew it. 50 something and leave it like that way. He's still in his 50s. No, you're in your 40s, yeah. right? Oh, your 40s. No, I'm the 50s. You're 50? No way. Yeah. But you don't yeah. look like that. No. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you look younger. Yeah, it was my 51 birthday. Really? No. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, my God. You look like 47, <laughs> something like that, but not 50. Mm, yeah, a lot of people tell me that because really? I look like that on 51. <laughs> Excuse me. So you you should feel proud of yourself. You feel you look younger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's because I like to do exercise. So yes, I always. I, I think so. I hope uh, so. Yeah. Maybe your, your lifestyle. If you if you have like a bad habits, I don't know health bad habits. Sometimes you could be like the mm -hmm. same age, but you could look older or younger. And yeah. the way you eat, the way you yeah, live. Well, I I I eat everything. I, I oh eat everything, God. everything. You know, but what? I uh, like to do a lot of exercise. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's 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 why. That's mm -hmm. why. You know what? I I don't know. I, I was about to tell you that, but I forgot the word. That's the one of the first words that I forgot in English how to say it. Oh my goodness! I don't know why. It's because I don't know use it so frequently. But there, uh, there's a word in Spanish, right? That that you said like, um, what is the name of the Spanish? Uh, now I forget the word in Spanish. Can you imagine? Oh no way. Uh, let me check. Uh, 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 uh. Todo terreno? Yeah, todo terreno. That means when you eat, no Anything. matter what, right? Yeah, but you know what? There's a there's a phrase in, in English like that way that we use. But to be honest with you, I don't remember now. <gasps> Can you imagine? <laughs> you know what? I will try to like look into my dictionary right here on my brain. And if I remember during the class, I will let you know. And if not, I will try to search for that because I know how to say it. But to be honest with you, I forget it. It's really it's not, weird. It's not, it's, it's not a forerunner? No. No, no, it's not a forerunner. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no it's, it's a different expressions that we use. Oh. To be honest with you, I, right now, I do not remember. But there's expression. And it's, and it's a really particular expression. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So let me try to see if I can remember while we were having the class. And if not, I promise I'm gonna send it to you today. Okay. As soon as okay. I find it. But 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 there's a word like that. Todo terreno. 
like you okay. eat it's whatever it case all right yeah. hey iris how are you bear yeah bear you came really early what happened to you <laughs> maybe she came on time today right that's great Hey, you know, my God, you know what? You have divided into two colors. Mr. Ali and Janet, they are wearing white color. And my Miss Iris, Mr. Raphael, and Miss Beatrice, they're wearing like some kind of orange, right? Orange between <laughs> orange and red, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. and pink. I don't know. Okay, that's nice. Yes, <laughs> oh my god you are wearing a happy color yeah hey talking about that what is your favorite color guys what is your favorite color black, I like black. black 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 yeah black. black and white black and white what about you ali i think green green yeah green not this i like green color yeah no yeah okay yeah Oh, I have a different. And how about you, teacher? Oh, well, my one is navy blue color. Blue. No, but navy blue. It's like oh, it, it, it's like it, it's, it's like a turkey blue color. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Let me check. Like your wall? <laughs> no, it's like this. No. Kind oh. of. Kind of. It's, it's oh. almost like black, right? The navy color. That is almost. But uh -huh. I, you know what? I'm a person who loves strong colors. Be, oh, okay. Because I think they're part of my personality. I love navy blue. I love red by heart. Black color. And what else I love? Mm, and aqua. I think that is one of the lightest ones. But I'm, I'm a person who has a strong personality. So I think that that's why I I love those kind of colors. You know what? White, to be honest with you, I only have one t-shirt. No, two, two, two blouses. Two blouses of white and one short and one pant. That's it. <laughs> Nothing else. Because you don't like it. You know what? I don't know. Maybe it's because... um. Uh, I, I don't think I don't know. I, I, I think I don't like it in a, the like a part of my closet, you know, because I'm white. I'm a white skin <laughs> that you cannot imagine. You cannot you cannot mm. physically see it, but I'm really white, like paper. <laughs> no, not like paper, but like closet, <laughs> <laughs> like closet. So I think. Um, I use a different color that result my my skin. Yeah. So to make the contrast, but of course, a um, I real I love white, but depends. For example, I used to have a a skirt, a long skirt. How you said that in Spanish is manta, manta. The the fabric, yeah. A falda yeah. larga de manta, right? Yeah. Which I really loved because it was really fresh and comfortable. I love it by heart. I, I, I look like a typical girl, but I don't care. I like it. I, I really, I really, I really do. I look like a Mexican girl. And I like to make, and, and I was wearing with a different type of uh, blouse, like uh, strong colors, like um, aqua or like, what else? What is the name of that color? Like a yellow, but a mustard, mustard yellow, like that. So I, I, I can't, I can't a girl who like to make contrast, but like to like um, exaggerate or to make a contrast from my skin. That's what I like. And I love being white. I care about myself a lot. I don't like to get burned. Right? I don't like it because my skin is is, is suffer. Because I'm like, um, how can I say it? I'm a person who gets burned easily. Five minutes outside uh, at 12 noon, and I'm red. Red like Sherm. <laughs> yes, I am like that. I'm, I'm getting uh, burned like this. I think there are different types of white colors, right? 
one that supports more than another is the, the sun. But in my case, I do not support it. And I like and I like to be on the beach. But if I go to the beach, I have to go really early morning or, or, late. La or later night. Yes. Can you imagine? Sometimes it's nice to be white, but sometimes it's not. <laughs> but, I, but I love cold places. My skin and my hair in cold places, they work fantastic. <laughs> but here in El Salvador, it's really hard to find cold places. Well, cold places that I'm used to it. You know what? The love, the cool places that I've been through here in El Salvador was in Pital. Pital. Oh, that's really amazing. Real I love Pital. that. Yes, I think I was. Los in... Naranjos also is very cool. But I think P the Pital is co cooler, cooler than, yeah. than the Los yeah. Naranjos. Yeah. I yeah. think it was, I was there in Pital around 11 degrees, Celsius degrees. That was really good. I have been around seven, almost six Celsius degrees. It was really cold. But, but that was in Costa Rica, a long time ago. Like, okay, now, not stop talking about me. I want to hear you guys. Hey, remember that you were supposed to do your homework, right? And, the, and, yes, and Iris is like, yes. <laughs> and we have was, homework. Work. Yes, of course you. We did, <laughs> and don't tell me that you forgot because I said no way. All right. Uh huh. So I remember that we have been like um, practicing writing, speaking, uh, grammar, talking about past tenses, right? Simple past and past continuous. We have uh, we have been through that until now. So your homework was supposed to like have a story, inventing a story or real story doesn't matter. But you gotta use both pertences. And it could be like short story, a long story. Please don't get excited, right? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> has to participate in it. Yeah, but it, I wanna hear you guys and we're going to evaluate, okay? I'm not going to interrupt you at all, okay? The first time in a bottle, I'm not going to interrupt you. I'm not going to say, hey, you did, you used that verb wrong or it, you need to say that it would be better to say like this way. No way. I'm not going to interrupt you. I'm just going to listen. I'm going to like be like the zipper, <laughs> right? And that will be hard for me, <laughs> right? But I'm just going to pay attention to how you express yourself, what how many vocabulary you have, if you use the same word more than one time, or like if you said in Spanish, muletilla, I'm going to listen to that as well. So I will listen to a lot of things, all right? And especially if you use the bird tenses correctly. That's what I want to know. So don't worry. Hey, Sonny, Sonny, finally, I can look at you. What a beautiful girl. Hey, Sonny, fine. And she's John, right? She's really, yes, she's John. No younger like Alejandro, but she's John. <laughs> and Alice's like, what? What are you talking about, teacher? Okay, volunteer to start? Oh, please. Yes, one at a time. One at a time. Yes, come on. Yes. Hey, Vane, how are you, girl? Hey, are you good? All right, volunteer to start. Okay, thank you, Ivan. Go ahead. <laughs> Oops. 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 <laughs> I did it again. I play with your heart. All right, you see? <laughs> oh my God, I got inspired with Pierce's Pierce. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So when awesome. I was a child, that was a long time ago, my man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seven years ago. <laughs> what? Seven years ago? Nah, nah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We went to the supermarket with my family. Uh-huh. And my sister and I got lost. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Was that mm -hmm. You say that the camp will be open. Yeah, the what? The camp. We'll oh, yes, open. That, exactly. You're right. Thank you, Janet. So but that means, uh -huh. aha. <laughs> Thank you. you. She's my right hand, you know? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Okay. So you know what? You need to start over. Okay. From the beginning. 
When I was a child, Ooh, okay. Ooh. me and my family <laughs> went to, to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. And my sister and I got lost. <laughs> Mm -hmm. While we were looking for our parents, uh, we had an idea. We had the card, so we wanted to have fun. And we started to play with it races. While we were racing, she fall. And then, because of the noise, our parents found us. And that's it. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> that was a really crazy and key things, right? Hey, but it was funny. Yeah. How, how old are you? How old were you by then? We were like, I had 12, 12 and my sister, 10. Oh my God. And yeah. who was the manager, you or your sister or both? The what? Who was the manager? Manage. You know what manage is? Nope. That terrible kid. Uh, guess who? Hey, you. Yeah. Uh, and he said, yeah. And, and, and look at his smile. He's like, yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Four of their parents. Oh, guy. That's good. Thank you. Very good, Ivan. Thank yeah. you. All right. Now, Janet, what about you? What do you have for us? <laughs> no. Hey. It's my turn. Yes, it is. Well, I will. I will talk about... A nightmare. A, a nightmare? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Someday I was sleeping mm -hmm. when in the middle of the night I I had a nightmare. In it, um, a dream mm -hmm. that I go out to my room and try to into the living room. Mm -hmm. But in this moment, I look at my mom, and she said that some something um, malignant, mm -hmm. something like that, um, is in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and it stopped um, it stopped me mm -hmm. before the into the living room. Mm -hmm. So in this moment, uh, I felt that I fly. And after that, uh, I can uh, into the living room and look at my uncle mm -hmm. sitting in the in the sofa, mm -hmm. and he was um, with a white dress, mm -hmm. and, and just look at me. And in this moment, I felt my skin um, crawl. <laughs> and this room thrown all my body and my head was very um sentir uh, nervous felt uh, nervous mm -hmm. very very nervous uh, after that i awake uh, and uh, and told to my mom in this moment really and i say it and in my skin uh, thrown again, very, very cruel. And uh, some, some days after that, my uncle dead. Your uncle dead? Yes. After your nightmare? Yes. Ooh, that was creepy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I uh, felt very, very nervous. Yes, for of course. It. Wow, of course. Oh my goodness. How old were you? What? How old were you when that happened? Around two years ago. Two? Oh my God, so you were a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> of a spirit, of a spirit. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. But... Uh, I'm sorry for your aunt, for your aunt, oh. right? Your aunt, you said. Yes. Oh my God. But it was very, very. Um, um, what? Bad. Yes, so bad. Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm sorry to hear that. But thank you so much for sharing. That was creepy, but this was new. Well, it was really good. 
<laughs> okay. Thank so you. So I have yes. Uh, don't have many mistake in my conversation. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not going to let you know right now. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 another victim, sorry, another volunteer. Ale, okay. what about you? Thank you, Janet. Um, uh, me? <laughs> yes, of course. Um, yes, um, Ale. Well, okay, my story. A few years, a few years ago, I was going on a bus <laughs> uh -huh. to the university when a thief sat uh, next to me. Wow! But in that moment, I didn't. But in that moment, I didn't know that he was a thief. And uh -huh. Then, then he asked me for. Uh, like what time is it? Did you the, the typical? No, yeah, the typical question. Uh -huh. But uh -huh, yeah, and then um, <laughs> and then I started started to feel a little nervous because I realized that he looks very um, mysterious. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after a few minutes and. Uh, mm -hmm. He asked me to give 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 him my phone, mm -hmm. but uh, fortunately, my phone was very very broken. And <laughs> and when he saw my phone, he um give back to me the phone, and and uh -huh. then he only shake my hand and go out, and that's the story. <laughs> wow, and that's it. That's All right. <laughs> wow. That was really interesting. But thanks <laughs> God that you yeah, you had a broken phone, right? <laughs> yeah, fortunately. <laughs> uh, fortunately, nothing happened. Was it was an old phone? Or no? Yeah, it was an old phone. Like Nokia. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was interesting. She, she had, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ale. Uh, who else? Beatriz, thank you so much. What about you, girl? <laughs> <laughs> I love her because she's like, <laughs> like <"Yeah." laughs> go ahead. You can do it, okay? Don't worry. One day. Oh my God. She wow. started like, once upon a time, not a long ago, where people were to advance a little less low. Okay, go ahead. One day, while, while I was eating a sandwich in a food truck, Mm -hmm. I saw a small bear that <laughs> fell from the nest. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I took it to it, 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 I took it to my house to feed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> And she looks like she doesn't broke anything, right, guys? But look at her. Mm -hmm. That's all. No, 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 no. What is the phrase? What is the phrase? That's it. Excellent. No, but you know what? With energy, with spontaneity. That's it. Like that, right? That's it. Excellent. That's what I need. Can you imagine, Janet? Mm. Yeah, she looks like she's a angel, but I don't think she is. I don't think. So. No, I'm just teasing you. Very good. Thank you, Bea. That was really nice. Look at her hand. This is like, I didn't know she was like that. That was good. Excellent. And let's listen to Rafa. Rafa, what about you? What do you have for us? Uh, let me see. I know you have a lot of adventures, but only one. We need only one. Well, uh, I think it was two or three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my wife, my wife and I, mm -hmm. was watching was was watching uh, TV. Mm -hmm. um, it was about six o'clock something like that okay p.m p.m so i take the phone and i start looking at the facebook and i saw uh i saw a news 
and they was talking about the fire in the middle town in Santa mm -hmm. Ana. I don't know if you if you hear about the fire. Yeah. The, 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 the center. Market. The market? market. Yeah, yes. the fire. So when he, when we hear then then you don't you then you and my wife and I just we watch together and then we say, hey, let's go and see what happened because all business was very close for that market. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. So yeah, so we was very scared if if because uh, the fire was really big, big. Mm -hmm. So we take out, uh, we 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 take out, uh, we went we went out. We, mm -hmm. I take my car and we went out to see what happened. All business, and everybody was there outside, and wow. and it was a lot of people. I take some videos and a lot of people taking out. They was take taking out mm -hmm. all the stuff from their business wow. because the fire was really really big. So I get close from the fire because all business is like it was a, like one block from the for distance distance wow. from the fire. It was really so, close. Yeah, so everybody was like prayer to God. Yes. To the fire that the fire don't do not don't continue, right? With, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, but the fire was the the the, the fireman was working very hard and everything. So they when when we get there, they almost have take care of the 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 the, the market fire. Mm -hmm. But it was really very um, excited. I was my wife. She was like in shock. Mm -hmm. She was very scared. Of course. And and we was watching with with we said with my wife we said if if we saw that the fire come up with the, to us, we were trying to get out everything or almost or, or not everything, but we trying to get out all the stuff that we can. Mm -hmm. But thanks God the fire don't get up to our business, but it was very close. Very oh close. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that was a really, really scary, right? <coughs> yeah. And yeah. It, and it was I think like that not day long I ago. Don't get in... Huh? It was not long ago, long time, not long time ago, right? Like two or three no, years ago. No, I think two weeks, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. It was two weeks, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh no way. Yeah. It was a big, a big, a big, a big uh, noise and the, and the news. Yeah, everybody was talking about. Oh my the, god! The fire market. Oh no! Oh but yes, thanks I God, uh, <clears throat> our business the, the fire don't touch our business mm -hmm. because the the firemen <clears throat> came it on off. time. Uh, yeah. They, yeah, 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 yeah. Came on time, but it was very. It was we was like <clears throat> my wife. I as I tell you, my wife she was very nervous and she was in shock. Yes, of course so I can imagine it. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. I'm really that's sorry my, to that's hear my that. Story. And what a history you have, sir. That was <laughs> really amazing. But at the same time, it was a really scary, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm so happy that everything it goes well with you and your wife. Thank you. Yeah. Which is what it matters, right? Yeah. It was very close, very close to yeah. lose everything. Yes, of course. A lot of people lose everything. They lose everything. Uh, we have some some customers mm -hmm. that they they visit our business mm -hmm. to buy some things to some school supplies. Oh and yes. And they tell they are they they are they uh, they tell us that they lose everything. Everything. Wow. And some people, it was the only, like, the only job that they have, and they have money from that job. So, wow. but I think that the, the government is they're going to help them. Mm -hmm. I think that they, that they're going to give some credits, and I think that they're going to see, they, they're going to give some money to all these people because they don't have nothing. They, to help them, right? So they to help them. To yeah, they have to start again. From the beginning. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm really sorry for that, but I'm yeah. happy for you right now. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for sharing your history and the story. But at the same time, well, 
thanks God nothing happens to you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Rafa. So I think uh, it was, that was a miracle because mm -hmm. the fire was very, very close. I yeah. think uh, something that helps that the fire don't come out with us, but to us, the whole business, I think uh, some the help to stop the fire was the wall, because the wall mm -hmm. from the markets, the from the central market, mm -hmm. they are from how do you say barro? I, I'm telling you that I'm not going to help you at all. The 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 they, 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 so they have I, I don't know I don't remember how to say that but I think it's a lot of people said that uh, they help that helps that the fire don't don't pass to the another business front of the of the time on the central market okay but at least mm -hmm. yeah i think that could be the reason why nothing happens right because mm -hmm. of the wolf yeah but i'm so happy yeah. that everything goes well in your case thank you rafa for sharing okay, that you're welcome. thank you it was a nice story but at the same time not nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> but thank you rafita okay, okay now let's listen to vanessa vani hello miss vani how are you girl hi miss how are hi. you pretty good i know that you are really uh interesting girl so i think you have a lot of stories yeah yeah just pick one okay like rafa <laughs> pick one okay it could be It's... a small story okay mm -hmm. okay uh i'll talk about Uh, when, when, sorry, my mom uh, punishing me for the first time. Oh my God. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, when I was younger, <laughs> uh, in high school, uh, I, I was a good girl, you can say, but my She friend was a good girl. <laughs> yes. Was. I, uh, I was a good girl. No anymore. Okay. <laughs> but my friends, yes, but just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> but my friends in this time, uh, they were very terrible and they are looking for fun. And one day we were out the, the school mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and one of them said something like, Uh, today we done into the school, we go to the beach, and I was very scared, but, but they were very, very convincing, uh -huh. and I went to the beach with they, uh -huh. and I think that was El Tunco, and I remember that we went in the bus, and In la 152 or 102, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I remember something like that. And the point is that my mom uh, was passing for the school this day. And I don't know how, but she think uh, something like, like, like bring me to, to eat something for me. And she went to the school and asked for me, and I, I wasn't in the school. I was in the beach, and and it's a long, long story because mm -hmm. she she stayed in the she stayed in the school uh -huh. for me and wait for and wait for me. And after that, uh, she took my cell phone from the rest of the year, and we are in March, I think. In March? Yes, and <laughs> I don't have cell anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> and that's oh, it. Oh, my goodness. But that was a really interesting story. But at yes. the same time, you were, you were like, hmm, not a good girl. Was the first time and the last one. <laughs> All righty. Ah, okay. So that is nice and very good. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. I, I think when we were like uh, young people, we did a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. They were not supposed to be good, but things got that you're okay and nothing happens to you, right? You just spent really good time on the beach. Okay, miss. Thank you. Thank you. Let me check. Iris, now is your turn. Oh, Ash, oh, come on. <laughs> oh. 
All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, this story yes. was told me my grandma uh, when she was young. She went to the party at night. Mm -hmm. uh, she told me that when it wants to go at home, she, she walk in, in the dark. Mm -hmm. uh, and she and she always listen and, and feel that something uh, was looking her. Uh -huh. oh, that was creepy. <laughs> then, okay, go ahead. <laughs> then one day, she saw one, uh, she saw a uh, sideway. Uh -huh. and, and, and she saw a one red eyes. Okay. And, uh, and and she ran away. Salió en guinda. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Now I understand that means. Okay. That idiom is really difficult for me, but that's okay. She's like, it is, right? Okay. Run away, en guinda. <laughs> ah, ah, okay. En guinda, all right. <laughs> I for thought it was a little fruit. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> for him, it was great, girl. That's that didn't stop him from going to the other party. That's it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's it. Peter. That's it. That was nice. Thank you. Very good. That was a really interesting story. And the scary at the same time. All right. Thank you, Iris. Uh, you see, Ivan, Ivan is like, he changed his title and he said, it's too scary today. All right. Sonia, thank you, Iris. What about you, Sonia? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hey, can, can we see your face? Okay. Hey, very good. I'm talking about my working day of yesterday. Okay. It was a very difficult and stressful day because I had work mm -hmm. all day in the computer. Mm -hmm. And in the lunchtime, I went to, to eat. And during this time, uh, the computer was suspended. And when I came back to my work, mm -hmm. uh, the computer not responded. And I can't believe, but it's uh, what's happening. Oh my uh, God, really? I was trying all, I, I disconnected and after I turn in on again, uh -huh. but for my back look, the computer died and I lost all, all my work done. Oh my God, you didn't save it? like excel Anything. for oh my god <laughs> you forgot to save it oh no. yes but is is can save anything because the cpu or cpu cpu mm. died and i can mm. i can recuperate anything Oh my God. And that was a computer from your work? Yes. And did you report already to your boss to ask them to change it for a new one? Yes, but only save in the database. Okay. Uh huh. Oh my God. Well, hopefully. You'll still have a new, you have a new computer or no yet? No, I, I sent the computer for, for the system mm -hmm. engineer. Ah, okay. Okay. So you, today yes. you, you didn't work. Yes. I work uh, the form manually. <laughs> ah, manually. Oh my God. I thought you had a day <laughs> off. Like, ah. All right. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Hopefully you will have your new computer back soon. Right. Yes. Oh my God. If that happens to me, to be honest with you, I'll, I'll, I'll almost pass away. 
<laughs> because my job is really, yeah, I really need to have the computer like on the top. Because the kind of job that I have. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Thank you, guys. Guys, I had to let you know something. I'm so proud of you. Well done. Very good job. Yeah. I told you that I'm not going to say, hey, do this, do that. No, I, oh, I, sometimes I said something, right? But I didn't correct you. I'm just trying to like keep on going. But you know what? Very good job. Uh huh. Very good job. Excellent. I'm proud of you. Very good use of uh, the grammar part. Okay. Very good. And very good use of the vocabulary as well. Sometimes um, I have to, I'm going to talk about in general. Okay. Sometimes you like, uh, forgot to say something and you said the verb in present but you correct yourself so like oh, oh no 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 it's like this and this and this sometimes maybe you forgot a word in spanish and in english like guinda right <laughs> but but i i understood that iris i is that a like a speedy gonzalez right like woo -hoo, right like run really fast i know how what does that mean in spanish huh? uh, don't worry I know some words and some phrases, <laughs> and I love I love that in Guinda because basically that is a really typical phrase in Spanish, right? In El Salvador, yes. At the first time, I thought it was are oh, they're talking about the fruit because there's a fruit that is Guinda, right? There is a fruit which is very acid, right? It's citrus one, right? Mm -hmm. And I love it with salt and lemon. Mm, it's fantastic. Yeah, I love it. But now I know that when they say the guinda, that means that you need to run really fast. So now I understood. Okay, mm -hmm. don't worry about that. I know that. I understood you, Miss Iris. <laughs> Very good. But you know what? Uh, even though, guys, when you were telling the story, sometimes you forgot a word in English or oh, you forgot, uh, you use the verb correctly, but then you use the verb in present tense and then you go back to past. But even though guys, you didn't freak out, you didn't panic. You just try to continue explaining and try to use the vocabulary that you know to explain yourself. I like that because you didn't say, oh my God, I freak out. How can I continue? No, you didn't do that. You continue no matter what. And that is really, really good. Let me ask you, do you like this, this activity? Do you like it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, right? And it makes you speak. That's what I want. Speak. Don't be afraid to speak. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. That is part of the process. But you know what, guys? Think about something. And, and, and you can tell me then. Uh, Remember when you start learning English from the beginning, from the really very basic until now, uh, March 24, 2021. Do you feel, guys, that you have improved your English? Do you feel it? Do you feel that you have, uh, yeah. you speak better English than in the beginning? Tell me yeah, the I truth. Do. Yes. Yes. Of course, you still have to continue learning, of course, right? But well, how do you feel, Bea? Do you feel that you can express yourself a little bit much better? Yes. Yes, and, it's, and it looks like that. Mm -hmm. What about you, Janet? What do you think? How do you feel? I feel I can't um, understand and speak a little more. That's good, which is really good. But guys, I had to let you know something. Don't don't just take because it will be really nice if we can speak English 24-7, right, with you. But it's not the case, right? So it's only one hour, four times a week. So my best recommendation would be that try to read something in English. Try to watch cartoons. Try to watch uh, a movie. Try to go an extra mile. And try to uh, listen music in English, even though you do not understand at the beginning. That's okay, because in that way, that will help you a lot. Maybe you do not speak like fluently, like faster, but you will have more vocabulary, okay? So what I'm gonna right now uh, do with you guys, I'm gonna share some information with you because I would like you to start reading in English, okay? That's what I like. So let me check it out if I can do something here. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
Uh, all right, very good. This is something that one of my, all, on, another student shared and it was really nice. So I'm gonna share right now with you. Let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay, this is the first book I sent it to you right now, to everybody. It calls The Unseen Essential. So basically guys, I want you to start reading English, okay? Because it will help you a lot. A lot to increase your vocabulary. That will be like a, a tough, a tough book, but I will try to search for cartoon books, okay? Like like a story tells, like for example, once upon a time there was a little baby girl, like that. I will try to search for another books that also will help you, okay? Hey guys, let me ask you something. What type of topics do you like to read? Do you like to read about animals? Do you like to read about uh, mystery. artists? Mystery, all right. Do you like terror. to read? Uh, terror, my goodness, you're free. Yes, yeah, that's like why, it. right? Oh, that's why there was a creepy story. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, right, I read, okay, okay. <laughs> ah, oh, uh, like a mystery. Oh, you know what? Ah, what's the name of that soap opera? Oh, I get them. <gasps> Uh, that was, uh, what's the name of the outer? My goodness, and I love that outer and I forgot. I don't know what's going on with my mind right now, right? Maybe I need like extra vitamins because I think too much. Um, what is, okay. It was a mur murder in the ex express train. Assassinato nel Oriente Express. <laughs> Have you heard about that? Have you have you read about that? Yeah? No? Yeah. No? Heard about ah, that, but not read. Uh -huh. That is really interesting. And that is something that I think Iris and Janet will I saw the movie. <laughs> yeah, we I know, but it's, it's you know what? The movies never compares to the read a book. Never. <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah. It's really hard. So I'm gonna search right now for a lot of books. There will be different topics. And you will pick which one you like, okay? Whatever you would like to read. It could be a huge one, it could be a small one, okay? But I will try to send it to you. That will help you a lot. Okay. All right, guys, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy and proud. I'm proud of you guys. And guys, you see how it is really important to learn a grammar part and also how, how to get to know when to use it and how to use it? You learn today how to use Oh, we finished the topic, guys, for past continuous and simple past, okay? Uh, also, tomorrow, we're going to start learning, guys, about uh, basically another topic, another verb tense that is also important to say it. But remember, guys, that past continuous and simple past, we use it together. What for? Do you remember what for we use it? When do no, we use... Course. Uh, to tell stories, exactly. But for example, simple past is to talk about what? Something about uh, happened. Uh, Happen, happened what? In the past, in the present, in the yeah, future? In the past. past. In the past. Very good. In uh, past continuous? It was something with happened in that, in that past. Yeah, interrupted. What, exactly. What the, no, very good. So when we do it to get, when we use simple past and past continue mm -hmm. together, we use it for what things? For example, past continue, that means that an action has already started, right? And it was continuing the process in the past when suddenly something interrupted, right? Interrupted. So the interrupter yeah. action we use the simple past or the past continuous? Past continuous? Past continuous. No, the simple past. <laughs> the simple past is the interrupted action. And the action that was interrupted, of course, is the simple, is the past continuous. You're right. Mm -hmm. So now, guys. Uh, we're going to learn the past perfect. Not today, don't worry. Alejandro's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to start it today. What is uh, the difference? Yes, it is. There is a difference. 
<laughs> it's not the same. The simple past and the past continuous is one thing, and the past perfect is another thing, man. It's another thing. So as now that you learn how to use past continuous and simple past together, it is time for you to learn how to use past perfect. You know what? It's really simple but I want you to be clear how to use it. So right now, what I'm gonna do is just to play that audio for you, okay? And I just want you guys to uh, pay attention like in the general idea, what happened? What happened in the scenario, okay? What there, if there's a like a monologue, is there like a dialogue? All that I want you guys to just pay attention to what had happened. Okay, and then we're going to discuss each other. Okay. Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. Oops, no, it's not this one. There you go. Oh yes, that's that's what it is. There you go. Page twenty-five, exercise seven, conversation. What happened? Part A. Listen and practice. Guess what? Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I was working out, and I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I'd forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about $15, but I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. Uh -huh. Would you like me to play it one more time? Yeah. Oh my God. Would you like to play it one more time? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Please. right. Yeah. That's the spirit. Come on. Page 25, exercise seven, conversation. What happened? Part A. Listen and practice. Guess what? Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no. What happened? Well, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I'd forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about $15, but I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. Okay. So let's discuss it. Hey, what happened, guys? Uh, it's Italian. Italian. Somebody Italian. stole his wallet. Ah, somebody stole his wallet, okay. And that's it to end where he left his wallet. His locker. In his locker. Oh, his locker. So do you think, guys, well, tell, tell me something. Where do you think this situation happened? As a, at the gym, I don't know, at his work, at the school, where? At work. Yeah, maybe in the gym. Maybe in the gym. Maybe in the work. Maybe he was mm -hmm. a student. It could be, maybe, maybe it's, no, it was a locker. No, the, the bus is not possible <laughs> because the locker, right? The locker, you have to put uh -huh. like a key on that. Okay, so you know what happens. Okay, so is it really interesting because, yeah, you're right about that, guys. But let me ask you, uh, when he got stolen, when that action happens? I think he saw yesterday. Aha, uh -huh. but did you get that phrase? Did you get that idea when it happens? Ah, <laughs> that's a really good question, right? Okay, let me play that one more time for you. And I want you guys to tell me something. I want you guys to let me know when this has happened. Well, he just say the last night, but he doesn't say what day. Exactly, yes. I don't, I don't want to know about the day specifically. I want to know which action happens first. The, the wallet that was stolen or what? So pay attention, okay? I just want you guys to pay attention on that. Let me go back and share with you. There you go. Page 25, exercise 7, conversation. What happened? Part A, listen and practice. Guess what? Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no! 
What happened? Well, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I'd forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about $15, but I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. Uh -huh. he, okay. he was working out uh -huh. last night. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. He, he was working he, out and someone has, stole uh -huh. his wallet. He had forgotten to lock the locker. Uh -huh. To lock the locker. So, well, before he was working, what did he do? With his stuff. He put it in the locker. <laughs> he had put it. He had put it in the locker. Uh-huh. And what happened when he was working? Someone stole his wallet. Okay. Wall so he had put his stuff in his locker and someone came and had stolen his wallet. Okay. Very good. So you see, guys, two things that happened in the past. He put his stuff on the locker. Simple past. And someone had stolen. Had stolen the, the stuff before he came back to the locker. Had stolen. Past perfect. Came back. Simple past. Teacher, why you're telling me all that? Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to, I'm not going to continue, okay? But I want you guys to think about it. The two actions happens in the past. That, that's definitely, right? The two action happens in the past. But one action happened before another. Mm-hmm. Sequences, or like in Spanish, puntos suspensivos, right? <laughs> All righty. Tomorrow, I will kitch you. You know what it means? Te dejo picado, all right? Tomorrow, <laughs> we will continue with the topic, and we're going to get deeply into our past perfect, and it will be a really nice topic <laughs> to finish our model, right? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Oh my God, I, oh, I'm the only one who's happy. Bea is like, mm -hmm. yes, of course. <laughs> Heidi's like, yay. <laughs> and Mr. Ivan is like, woohoo. All righty, guys, very good. You know what? Uh, I remember the phrase, but not it was not exactly the phrase. It, I, I was confused. I, I said, when you're, when you're angry, not angry, like hungry, when you're hungry, you can say, I can eat a horse. That means like you can eat like a huge buffet just for you, okay? But um, like total terrain, I think it will be like everything. I can eat everything like that. But I know there is another phrase, okay? Well, I, at least I remember one. I can eat a horse. Oh, I could eat a horse. I could eat a horse. That was it. That is a phrase. I could eat a horse. That means like you are you really need a food, or you will die, my man. Right, because you are really, really angry. So you you need a horse. You you could need like I don't know, four or six pizza of sixteen pieces. That is one. But I'm I will st still try to search you know, on my brain, okay? And I will share right now with you. All right, guys. Anything that you would like to share? Any doubts? Anything that you would like to me to reinforce? Now it's time. Everybody's quiet <laughs> for the first time in the morning. <laughs> wow. I have a, I have a big problem. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh huh. I need I need help with the past. Uh, can you, uh, yes. For no, me, me past, too. For me, it's past. It's past. Past simple. Past continue. Past past past. I don't know. Pass, pass. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, pass, pass. <laughs> like, yeah, there's a... The you know, same happened to me. Uh-huh. 
I know in English is, you know what, in Spanish, past is past, right? But you know what? No way. I know Spanish grammar. <laughs> and we do have it. The thing is that we don't know that we are using it. But we do have preterito and we have preterito plus quam perfecto. So yeah. I know that by heart. I know because I love language. So don't tell me that it's the past past. No, come on. <laughs> and of course, in English, guys, there are a lot of passes, right? Depends on what you're talking about. The simple past is simple past because that is simple, right? But when we have to combinate both, that is what it means. But you, you know what? You have done a really good job in past continuous and simple past because that was easy, right? Uh, 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 past continuous is something that was occurring, that had already started in the party and it was occurring. So it was the action was continuing in the past once another action interrupted the simple past. You have, that's what you have done right now. So it's a really good one. But I know mm -hmm. the past perfect could be a little bit confusing, but don't worry. You would understand mm -hmm. it, I promise. Okay, I reason, but like, uh, okay, okay, Mr. Alejandro, it's your turn. Go ahead, sir. And I have thought about uh, the past participle and the past continuous is not um, very similar, no? No. I think it's very similar, no? Mm -mm. Because ing, no. But ing is past continuous, but past participle is not an ing. Oh. <laughs> past participle is the, is, the, is the third column of the irregulars. Oh, right? yeah. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. I, know. I forgot. <laughs> you know what? I will kill you, my man. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. No, I got, got, it's because got, got uh, the, 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 the hour. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's okay. You know what I'm going to do right now, guys? Um, I, I'm going to share right now with you. Well, not right now, not today. Hopefully I can do it during this uh, week. I have a like a little square, like a little example about, a, for example, all, all the verb tenses, like from simple to, to, to for present, for past, for future, past perfect, etc. And then I have the structure and then I have an example. So I will, I will send it to you like a little square with all details information so you can compare and you can understand what is the difference from between all the verb tenses okay i think i have that okay. so i'm gonna and i will okay. send it to you just wait for me because i don't promise i'm gonna send it to you tomorrow but i'm gonna send it to you this week okay because i have to like okay. search for that information because i already have it here right and i used it a lot but I wanna, I wanted to share with you because I know that it will be really, really helpful for you. I know. Yeah, it will help us a lot. Yes, of course, and I will send it to you, guys. It's time to say goodbye. You have to go to sleep or to eat something. <laughs> but thank you so much, for guys, for being in class. I really love and appreciate and happy every time that I see you. Okay, guys. Okay, so hi. Thank you. Thank Jesus. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye bye. Say hi to bye. Lulu.